Rated G. What's up, guys? Middle Age Gamer here. We're going to continue on with the Transport Fever 2 uh, walkthrough guide. We're going to go ahead and do the Chapter 1 campaign mission called Coffee and Colonialism. Let's go ahead and get into it real quick. Mankind is constantly and it's the second mission, as you can see right here. Start it up. Tropical jewel in the midst of the Indian Ocean. Conscientiously administrated by and I'll give you a heads up Dutch as far Europe. as what we're doing here in just a second once the mission loads up. The colony is undergoing a transformation. Recently, individuals have been allowed to lease farmland. Okay, we're going to skip the intro. After we can go ahead and stop that. Anyone set on building wisely so operate the contour lines as I'd appear contour resources. lines layer. Form the necessary survey and then basically what it wants us to do is to make a cargo terminal station or terminus station is what I'm going to use. Connect it right there. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the tracks to where it wants us to go. A depot Next thing is we need a train depot as it just said. We're going to put one right there. We'll add the tracks right there. Purchase a complete train. Purchasing Including a train. Let's go ahead and do that. We can. We need the box car because we're going to be basically transporting coffee fruit um, from over here. You can see that coffee fruit to here to make coffee beans. So this will carry both of those. So we're going to go ahead and add four box carts or box cars. Excuse me. It only gives you coffee four. Unfortunately, I wish I could make the train a bit longer, but it only gives you four box cars on this particular mission, at least at the start. Set up a new line. It's going to go from here, obviously, to here. And we're going to go ahead and name this train. And it will be the coffee fruit delivery. There we go. Let's go ahead and start up time. Now, as this gets going, and I'll go ahead and ride with the train since we got a little bit of time. This whole guide is basically the quickest and fastest way to do the particular mission. It is by no means how you have to complete the mission. You could spend extra hours doing each mission if you wanted to. Or if I have a particular truck route, you could technically have made a train route or vice versa. So there's multiple ways to actually complete most of these missions moving forward. Uh, but I just want to let you know I'm just trying to do things as quickly and efficiently and as basic as possible in some cases. I'm not trying to make things overly complicated like I see some of the videos out there. So hopefully you guys will like this video, especially if you need help with some of the bonus tasks. This will definitely help you get there without having to watch you know, a three hour long video, hopefully. Alright, so we're here picking up the coffee fruit. I don't know if that's the real name for it. What does it see? Yeah, coffee fruits. And we're transporting coffee fruits down here to where it will get made into coffee beans at this export factory right there. And nothing else to do until we get this delivered. So we'll just kind of hang back and wait till it gives us more instructions. The one thing I didn't really get about the first couple of missions so far is that it gives you an insane amount of money. I wish that they would have made it a little bit harder, but you know, for each in their own, I guess it's okay. We'll, we'll keep it moving either way. What a superb rate. Okay, so now it wants us to build truck stops in the highlighted for, areas. So that the first great coffee makes it into town undamaged. And it should say truck Three stations, days, which stations doesn't says truck stops, which is to me is right holes. there. But it wants actually truck stations, so you might get confused by this. And on this one, you literally just have to replace where it's telling you it wants it to go. So you'll replace Ready two or three go. buildings right there. Nothing stands in the way of speedy transportation to the local seaport anymore. Send the freight cars of coffee on their way. So we're gonna make this a coffee line. Let's go ahead and name it Truck Sire Baya Coffee Delivery. I don't know how to pronounce that. And you can name the route whatever you want to. It's not really that big of a deal either way. It wants us to locate at least four trucks. So first thing we need is actually a road depot so we can buy the vehicles. We'll go ahead and add that right here. Again, you can place it wherever you really want to. It's not a big deal. Go ahead and buy some vehicles. And let's see. Let's 
seems like it's roughly the same. I'll go ahead and do the, uh, I don't know, cover to flat, but does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. We'll just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's say, seven vehicles. And we're gonna go ahead and set them all to the coffee delivery line. Now finds itself in a laudable position by sending processed coffee. So now it wants us to wait till the coffee to beans are delivered. Considerable growth. Its products have to reach a clientele see the with vehicles coming out. And you should start to see coffee beans. Yeah, there we go. Start to load up right there. The problem is this train doesn't have a whole lot of cards to pull fruit. So we already have 150 plus fruit there. This train only holds 16, which is pretty bad. So, oh no! It's just a driver. Several Build a test track with two small stations the noble profession and a depot in the highlighted area. So we got to build that here in this highlighted area. Let's go ahead and build a certain signs are feeding horrible rumors about the indigenous terminus died. station and we'll make a smaller one 120 meters thanks to your reliable deliveries the factory is working far above par although it would certainly be capable of processing much more and then we'll build another one right over here capacities of coffee you should weigh the idea of we'll increasing the transport it. volume because coffee from the colony is a commodity in great demand in parlors and salons uh, on the continent. Wrong there. Let's try One that again. train isn't enough to adequately there supply the factory with coffee fruit. A passing siding is needed so that a second train can use the line. And we'll get to that next step here in a second, but let me do one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and add a train depot there. The correct way to drive the vehicle we gotta connect must be it. practiced for so that potential passengers are not scared off right away. In the meantime, some hard to digest news reaches. Buy a train, just buy the cheapest thing possible. Is said to have fallen victim to a I don't know if we need cannibals. anything else than a loco, so I'm just gonna buy that first off. And then we'll set a new line, which will go from here. We'll just name it train test track. Go and you can see the meter is already clamming up. So main mission task: connect the first and second highlighted reel. So we got to connect these two tracks right here, which is basically just a bypass track. There we go. The trains should wait for each other on the passing. And then we need to make this signals on both sides. Signals. If the go. plant is to be used to its fullest capacity, and another we need to acquire a second. Is needed train and let's go ahead and add hopefully four more box cars which I think it just gives us four Good news. The locomotive engineer has returned safe and sound. And then we will assign this to the same line here in just savages, a second he was having the time of his life in the virgin forest naturally you can't tolerate Miss Con wherever coffee production thrives business and prosperity flourish too. Time to build a line which will soon link the key trading hubs in Eastern Java. So yeah, we just gotta build basically a passenger line from this town to this town, as you can see right there. And I wanna pause it just for a second because I wanna get rid of this road. Let's see, that might be good enough. Let me see what happens. So we want to get as much of the residential area as we can. Okay, so that's the top right there. It's pretty good right there. And we can also make a bus route inside each town too. So I'll put one station there. And let's go back and look at this. Okay. And don't be afraid to get rid of some buildings when making the passenger route if it gives you more of the town. Yeah, so that would get rid of two buildings right there. I think that's probably pretty good. We'll bring the contour lines up as I build the tracks just in case. Because I don't know how flat or... Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to go around this little hill right here. We'll connect that. The railroad has been completed. Curiosity runs high. 
Time will tell if passenger transportation really is a venture that's worthwhile. So we also need a train depot here. Let's go ahead and put one a little bit ways. I'm going to do things a little bit different here. I'm going to connect it both ways just in case we need to expand this track down the road for any reason. Let's go ahead and buy a train. I don't know how many cars it's going to allow us to buy. There we go. A formidable enterprise like yours calls for a suitably first-rate branch office. After all, you're not just anybody. Go. So, for the next bonus task for Middle Enterprise, uh, after all, let's just okay, let's go ahead and accept it. Build a so, to build a headquarters, all you do is click on the account here in the bottom left, go to headquarters, go to build. This one, the very first time around, kind of took me a while to figure out. And you can just put it anywhere in the city. There's no real specific place you have to put it. The state, but a veritable plague is spoiling all the fun. Snakes have occupied the building. Just click Luke on the question the marks for this bonus task. There we go. You can rid yourself of the snakes in your walls. The priestess has spoken. The only way she is willing to call off her children is if you make a sacrifice to the great snake goddess. Coffee, the priestess prophesied, will be the sure thing to appease the goddess. All right, so basically we got to bring coffee up here to the temple of the snake goddess. And to do that, we need to build a road there first. And it would be helpful to have the contour lines up. When doing this, it may help you just a little bit. Uh, that's not too bad right there, actually. That was a lot easier than last time. I kind of snaked it around the last time I did this, but this will work out just fine. And then what we need to do is make a truck stop up here. This is where the trucks are going to drop off the coffee. And then we got to set up a new line to deliver the coffee up to the snake goddess. So we'll just call this truck uh, snake god coffee delivery. Good enough. Let's go ahead and buy a couple of vehicles to make that delivery. We'll go ahead and do, I guess, five. Maybe too many, but we got plenty of money to do whatever we want. Okay, so next task is to basically transport 25 people to each town. And why we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and kind of upgrade each city if I get a chance by adding a bus route in each city. So first thing I want to do is look at the different sectors. Try to build at least one bus station in each one. There we go. We'll make a little road depot over here. Let's connect it right there. And first thing, let's make the line, I guess. That would be helpful, right? Pretty basic bus route. And let's go ahead and name it bus. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put some vehicles on there. Uh, I don't know if it really matters what we use. Go ahead and use these guys right here. Let's go ahead and put seven. Select them all. There we go. Oh, it's rumbling in the island. So we already interior. transported enough people, which is good. It seems worthwhile to remove the infrastructure if it's not supposed to be buried under ashes and lava. So for this, it actually wants us to remove, I think, this infrastructure here in the red circle. Let's go ahead and do what it tells us to. So first things first, we've got to send the trains to the depot. should go to the depot right there. I'm gonna wait to I have to wait till this train makes a delivery here in just a second. We're still working on the bonus task of delivering coffee up to the goddess. You can see this vehicle going up there it is full five of five so that's a good sign. 
that things are set up correctly. And once this train gets down to their side, we'll go ahead and send it back to depot. That's kind of the good thing about having a depot like this. So you can send it to the depot from either direction. I didn't really do that up here. Again, if you want to do it a different way, you're more than welcome to. So let's go ahead and send this to the depot now. And then we will go ahead and demolish this section right here. Yep. Beat the bonus task as well. And we gotta relocate the line. Alright, so basically we just gotta rebuild it. That's what it's asking us to do, so... Let's go ahead and get to the train section, build a cargo terminus station. Outside of the highlighted area, of course. Just bring the tracks to where they need to go. There we go. Demolish tracks, build an alternate route. So let's go ahead and set up the new line. In fact, we can find the current line right here and just simply edit it. To add the new station and then we can put the trains on it let's go ahead and send this one out first coffee fruit delivery let's see do we have oh i need to demolish that other track right there the danger has been averted transport can be resumed what's more the volcano is yeah, sometimes if you don't do something down. specifically Despite or exactly, that, it won't let the you get the, um, the goal achieved. So you can see that I had one little bit of track there, which you have to watch out for little things like that, or you have to pay attention to details, so to speak. Um, wait until this one gets a little bit farther down. I'll release the other train here in just a second. next one and let's see another bonus ahead. task here must be so we got to deliver sugar from the sugar plantation the to this to town right here Europeans get together for coffee and sugar plantation is right there and we have to get it down here so I'm gonna do Probably a separate train line altogether would be the easiest. It's a passenger station. I could make, I might be able to edit this one to add a cargo station on the end. Let me try that first. If not, I'll make a completely separate cargo station. So to do this, and this is a little bit more difficult than what you have to do, you could just make a separate cargo terminal station. You can basically add a cargo platform on one side, which needs to be on this side, obviously. Then we can also add tracks to this side, and that will be a cargo route. So you can see there's cargo and a passenger route at the same station is what that does right there. So that's kind of a good tip if you're just starting to play the game. And then for tracks, I want to run it as separate as possible. In fact, I'll probably run it on a completely separate track. Let me go ahead and build the other station first before we get any further. So we need another cargo terminus station. We want to make sure that plantation is highlighted. There we go. And then we'll build tracks coming down. I don't want to connect it. There we go. I want to just be next to the passenger route. And we'll connect it right there. And we will connect. Let's see if we can make another connection. You can do this a bunch of different ways. You could just put a track from here up to make it go there. But now what we're going to do is deliver sugar. Let's start the line up first. Put it there. And we'll just call it train 
sugar, actually Sere Bay uh, sugar delivery. Traffic is flowing full steam ahead. So we don't have the mission completely completed yet. We need new lines of business, which is the sugar route. So we're going to continue playing until we do that. Good time. Thanks to your outstanding work, you have a good chance of inheriting his post. And then we just got to buy another train to transport it. So we'll go ahead and add another one of these. And it needs to be the gondolas to do the sugar. So we'll add, I don't know, six. How many do we need? That's the real question. Does it say? Doesn't say anything. So there we go, and we'll add that to the sugar delivery line. And let's go ahead and fast forward it. And wait for that to come around. So I don't know how long this mission took me the first time that I played it, maybe 40 minutes or so. We're already about 20 minutes into it. So this is a relatively quick mission with all things considered. And that's only carrying, looks like one load or two. But that may be enough to go ahead and click off on the last bonus task right there. Relatively easy. I could have built another passenger route there. This passenger route really wasn't needed, but I had time to do it when I was doing the mission. All right, here we go. Let's see if that checks off the final task. Sugar rattles there it is. Town. So new lines of business is done, and that's basically the entire mission right there, guys, uh, with all the bonus tasks completed. I guess you could have technically done the bonus task first and then done the passenger route or whatever the uh, last mission mission task was, but either way that will give you the completion of the mission and all bonus tasks when you close out of this. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching The Middle Age Gamer. Please hit the uh, like button below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll be releasing more videos on this campaign along with the other two campaigns in this game here over the next couple of days. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.